In this video, I'm going to show you the best one play touchdown in Madden 22. This will be cover three, cover four, cover, cover two, cover six, cover nine, cover four quarters, cover four palms, man to man. It doesn't matter what your defense does. They have to user this. Otherwise, it is a one play touchdown. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Every single day we do videos like this where we basically try to give you tips that are helpful to you guys and they're also helpful to me. Uh, it helps me become a better Madden player and I hope that this has, I hope that our channel has helped you in some way. If it has, would you just comment below? Uh, just let me know that the videos have been helpful and uh, have just made you a better Madden player this year. All right guys, I wanted to talk today about a really specific tip that I think is really underrated and um, I also wanted to talk about why it's the case. I don't just want to give you the what, I want to give you the why. And so um, really it comes out of kind of a frustration, if you will, with trips tied in. Um, what I'm frust getting frustrated is I feel like trips tied in, I don't know if Madden tried to nerf trips tied in or what, but they basically made like trio formations or tray or any of those kind of formations much better and they made trips tied in in a lot of ways worse because of what i'm about to teach you in this video so if you were to go through your trips tied in formations the two post routes you have you have this s post from pa shop post i'm in the detroit playbook by the way if you want to learn my whole all my trip stuff if you want to learn all my trio stuff if you want to learn all of my guides everything is in the patreon my offenses are in there my defense is in there over 28 ebooks this year and if you want to learn all of them again it's linked in the description we also have inside cross so we have pa post we have inside cross and that's it that those are our primary post routes so if i was to come out in inside cross this is in my opinion one of the best bomb concepts this year and we've been running it since i think august uh, but basically all you do is you smart route evans you streak miller you slant godwin post gronkowski and if you want to wheel the running back or block him or if you wanted to you could block your tight end and wheel your running back um, but these are the basics of the concept what you're going to notice is this skinny post is kind of like the bunch trail skinny post and it will get wide open for a one play score as you can see now if you have a hot route master quarterback or an outside apprentice you can put this skinny post out there so i could put a skinny post like let's say i'm in the play pa corner i can put a skinny post out there and i can run the same basic concept and again you'll see against cover three that this becomes a one play touchdown or at least a, 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 a bomb if you have brady throwing it's a bomb if you have rogers throwing it's a, it's a one play td but you see the idea now um if i do pa shot wheel you'll notice it's basically the same thing against cover three and cover two this is pretty much an automatic at least bomb if not a one play score so you'll see here's pa post i think pa shot post is actually better that post is actually better than people realize um for a lot of reasons but i'll show you I'll show you one more time against cover three. So here's PA shot pose. All you do is streak triangle, you slant and boom. And then the, we know that play action blocking is arguably the best way to block this year. And you see it's an absolute laser over the top. Now where this becomes a problem is you'll notice when I go to cover four drop, it does not work as good. Um, so if I go to cover four drop and basically run the same setup, You'll see that this inside quarter on the right side has a pretty decent chance at coming back on the ball and most of the time we'll be able to come back and we'll be able to swat the ball and so what people learned is that they would just do this they would double mabel and then they would take this safety on the trip side and put him in an inside quarter and that would basically play very similarly to the cover four drop and so if I'm in PA counter go or any of the other plays in this formation and I ran this, you'll see that this inside quarter, in this case, he was too far down and, and that was why, because he came down. But be, because of where they're located, if they bring the safeties down, it's a little different. But again, let me try to give you a better example. So here inside quarter, I'm gonna leave him as is and then just move him so that he doesn't move down when I audible. Anyway. 
So you'll see here this inside quarter. Now that he's got a little bit more reasonable depth, he'll get back on that post and make it a lot harder. It's not as close of a throw. And uh, again, the more outside of the tight end that he is and the more that he is, you know, not in a, he, the more that he, you know, kind of right in this area, if you will. And, and, and he'll be able to recover almost every single time. Um, the only thing that will keep him from recovering, like I said, is if they move him way down in the box or if they move him inside of the tight end. So now you'll see he's outside the tight end and you'll see here, see how he turns and runs and it makes that throw a lot tighter. It's not necessarily stopped, but it's certainly a lot worse than it was, okay? So now what I wanna do, and, and if they run cover for a drop, it's, it's out of three to five normal, it's basically bagged. So what I wanna do now is show you this deeper post from, if I audible over here to trips tied in flex, PA shot crossers, you'll see that it gives me this post. And this post runs probably about seven yards deeper and you'll see why that's important. So we're on the same exact route combination, but now because we have a deeper post, you'll see that the cover four cannot recover and cannot get back there and it's an easier one play, uh, one play touchdown. What's also really important to point out is that this is really, it's, a, it's not just good uh, with the vertical. What makes this, what I think makes this like absolutely incredible is the fact that you actually don't need a vertical pull route for this post to be effective. I'll show you what I mean. So I'm in the cover four. We're gonna flat Scotty Miller. We're gonna slant Mike Evans and we're gonna post Gronkowski. And what you'll see here is because this post takes so much longer to come into the grid of the zones, they don't get, they don't, they don't guard it, as you can see. And Chris Godwin is consistent. That's cover four drop. And there's no vertical pull route. Now, if it can beat that cover four drop, well, one would stand to reason that it probably can beat the cover three and the cover two as well, as it can also beat the cover one. And I'll show you why it's so good against the cover one. Now, with this formation in particularly, you can motion this tight end in and it recreates trips tight end, okay? But now you get this deeper post, which is really valuable. Here's cover three. Once he crosses the face, you're pass leading inside. And as you can see, he's able to get over the top of the cover three. If I put a streak there, it'd be even more open. And then lastly, we're gonna show you deep half zones. This will work for both deep halves from cover two, as well as it'll work for um, a deep half from a cover three zone. It's basically gonna essentially function the same. And again, you can just motion this guy in. And if you just motion him in, it's basically the same formation. And then boom, and you'll see this just, I mean, it just obliterates cover two, as you can see. Now, this is also a lot more effective of a way to run this route in particularly against a man coverage. So let's say that they want to run man to man on you. If they wanna run man to man on you, as I audible to the wrong formation. Again, you're just going to trip side and flex. And the reason why we're going to trip side and flex is because the stock play action audible in that formation gives us this deeper route. Now, one other thing I wanna point out about this, watch this real quick. So if I motion this guy in, I can always go back to trips tied in and do motion setups if I want to. They just have to respect the fact that I can bomb the crap out of them from this one. So here's cover one, shaded outside and inside. I got super shedded, but as you saw, once my guy crosses the face of that guy, it would have been a one play score. So in order to avoid getting super shedded, hopefully um, all the purple zones will do the trick. Again, it's just a simple little way, and, and I just can't stress enough how good these post routes are. Now, if you wanna smart route this post route, you also can do that. So if I wanna smart route this post route, he'll still run and still has the principle of that deeper post. I actually like to leave them and let them run far. But as you can see, there's cover one robber and he does a really, really good job at being able to get separation. And Chris Godwin has slot-o-matic, so it's not lighting up because he's not in the slot. And his route running is honestly fairly average for a regs player. You have someone with 90 route running right there, that's gonna be even better 
Um, Mike Evans would run this route incredible, by the way. Um, another thing you're noticing with trips tied in is it, it, or with the trips tied in that I'm running in this video here is it could do a really good job at kind of giving them a, a weird look, if you will. So if you wanted to leave this guy out here, you could. If you want to have the threat to be able to block the tight end, which I think is fair, you know, then you could do something like this and, you know, just simple, you know, do something simple like this um, if you wanted to do that. And what you'll see here again is this post route will be able to get over the top of the man-to-man. -man. It's a very, very powerful route this year, and people, I think, are just sleeping on how good these post routes are. In particular, the one from this formation is not as good as the one from this formation. Why? Because if I run cover four drop against inside cross, a lot of times you're going to see this post route on the left. It'll stop in the middle of the field. And so I can't wait on it. See how it stops right in the middle of the field like that? If it didn't stop, it would be the best route in the game. And the route that does not stop is found in trips tight end flex right here or in trio or some of those other plays. I just like this one because it keeps this outside guy on the line of scrimmage, which I think is fairly important. And then now you'll see here's cover for a drop and that you don't even need a vertical pull route. Just once he crosses that inside quarter space, you're able to hit that over the top every single time. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope this was insightful. I would encourage you to figure out how you can incorporate some of these little audibles and things like that to this formation. And the reason why is because the post route is so very powerful and it's able to beat everything in this game. Thank you so much for your time. If you want to learn more about my trips offense or all of my eBooks in general, I've got a trio Y flex offense that really builds around this post route. You can get them in the description of the video. Every guide is unlocked by becoming a Patreon member and it is only $10 to become a Patreon member. So for just $10, you'll be able to get immediate access to over 27 offensive and defensive guides, weekly updates, all of that stuff is available in the Patreon. Thank you for watching this video. And if you wanna check out the membership, it's linked in the description.